Hey everybody, it's Dawn at the Quilt Lady. How's everybody doing tonight? So send me a thumbs up or say hello or something so I'll know who all's out there. Lonnie Tillman Cribs. First time on. Oh, good. Well, welcome. I know Janice was telling uh, some people today about our Facebook Live and they didn't know about it. So you guys share. So the more times that you share and stuff, there's Debbie. Yes, I missed you Saturday. Darn it. I had a funeral, though. One of my friends uh, passed away, had COVID. So I was gone Saturday, went to her funeral. So, um, but I I'm, I did miss you guys. Hey, Joan, how are you? So I love seeing uh, who all's out there. So let me know. And there's Joan. I am not good with most trivia, but I will make something up. <laughs> there you go. We are going to have a trivia question tonight. And we're going to try to do these trivia questions um, every week now. So last week, if you remember, it was on baseball, I think the World Series. And it was like, who was playing? What time did the first pitch come out? And where was that at? And all that stuff. So have a different trivia question this time. And uh, so that'll be that'll be coming up. So you'll have two ways to win by sharing and by playing trivia. So, and it'll be the first one that answers. So Whitney does all that from her end and whoever answers first will, will the right question will end or will win. Sorry. Um, what else? It rained today. We needed the rain. I love that. So, okay. What do we want to start with? Hey, if you guys, as we go along through here and there's something that you want to see, I've got a lot of patterns and some fabric tonight. If you want to see more notions or a certain notion or you want a demo on a certain ruler or a certain notion or product, write that in the comments so I'll know, you know, what you guys are looking for, what, um, you know, if you've got a certain question, put it in the comments and let me know when I will do my best to show you or try to answer it. So, hey, hey, Janice. So Janice is with us. She's going to she's going to come work part time, too. I think she's going to come and and work with us, too. So, OK. Oh, yes. OK, you guys on the screen. Thanksgiving hours. So Tuesday, we're going to be open. We're closed Monday. Tuesday, we're going to be regular hours, 10 to 5. OK, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, we're going to be closed. So. Um, Black Friday that everybody's crazy about is going, we're going to be closed on that day. No, we're not going shopping. Uh, we are going to be either moving the kids or we are going to be, I will be quilting. So, but maybe Cyber Monday. Bill said we might have a Cyber Monday online. We will be open Saturday, though, for Small Business Saturday, uh, 10 to 2, regular hours on Small Business Saturday. We will be open, and Cheyenne will be here, and I don't remember who else. I don't know who else she's got scheduled. But anyways, we will be open Saturday. But Thursday, Friday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday will be closed. So that's the Thanksgiving. Okay, Christmas hours, Tuesday through Thursday. 10 to 5, 10 to 5, okay, because Christmas is on Saturday this year, right, so Tuesday through Thursday, 10 to 5, Christmas Eve, which is that Friday, uh, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday, when we're usually closed, we will be closed, okay, so we are closing Christmas Eve, and going to take that off to spend with the family, then New Year's Eve, we are going to be open 10 to 2, so that will be the following Friday, 10 to 2, and then we'll be closed New Year's Day, okay? So if you guys uh, need a project, come see us before the days that we're closed, and we'll get y'all fixed up. All right. What else? What else do I need to mention? Okay, Whitney, I think we're good. Uh, if you guys have any questions, our hours, uh, like I said, we're closed Sunday and Monday, Tuesday through Friday, 10 to 5, Saturday, 10 to 2. OK, and that's here in Kingfisher. And of course, you can always get online and look at the website. And uh, we have everything pretty much that's in here on the website. And you can you just can't pet the fabric on the website. And when you come in, you can do that. So uh, we like it when you come in. OK. 
Pardon? Who's ready for the trivia question? Oh, are we all ready? Who's ready for the trivia? Are we going to do the start out with the trivia? Yeah. Okay. How many people do we have on here? 37. Okay, you guys, we have a trivia question for you. Okay. Are you ready to put it up, Whitney? What is the generally accepted lifespan of cotton fabric in years? Okay. What is the generally accepted lifespan of cotton fabric? I need to know it in years. Okay. So the first one to answer it correctly will get a $10 gift card. Okay. So let's, do, to make it a little easier for you guys, let's put up a multiple choice. Okay. So let's do a multiple choice. A, 70, B, 80, C, 90, or D, 100. So that's in years. What is the generally accepted lifespan of cotton fabric in years? 70 years, 80 years, 90 years, 100 years. I think we have a winner. Huh? I think we have a winner. Oh, Bill says we already have a winner. Kim Myers, about yeah, 100 years. You answered it before you gave out. The oh, you answered it before I even gave out the. That's great. That's wonderful. You're right. Lifespan of cotton fabric is 100 years. So when you guys, when we start getting these uh, people come in with the quilts that want to have them fixed, it's generally from the early 1900s, late 1800s, and that cotton fabric is now, some of it is kind of disintegrating or pulling it, like it seems to be a lot with the blues. So it must be something in the blue dye. The blue dyes must have been not so great back then, but it always seems to be the blues and sometimes the whites. So um, anyways, cotton fabrics will last you at least a hundred years. Oh, she took a class with Benertex a few years back. So she knew that. Well, very good, Kim. Very good. Okay. So Kim, you want a $10 gift card. So I'll get that made up and send you, um, what your code is. Okay. You can use that on the live or the, um, website or uh, in the or shop. Come in, or come yeah. In. We love to see Kim. She comes in a lot. Um, you guys ready to see today's lineup? Yay! Okay, we've got lots of things to show you today. Okay, let's start. I think we're starting with this. Okay, so I haven't showed these before, you guys, but this is a great Christmas present for a quilter. Okay, and these are my thread uh, cases. They come in a plastic case. And there's 12, 12 spools of thread, which, you know, thread is like 13 something and a spool. So they're expensive. And these all come in sets. So this one is the Peace and Quilt Collection colors by Chris Watson. And it's got 12 colors. These are all 50 weight. So if you're, if you're not familiar with weights, when you sew your machines, uh, especially the newer machines, they like the 50 weight thread. They, <laughs> and it goes through there. And of course, you know, uh, r -Fill, r -Fill, they're known for no, no um, lint. Okay. So these will go through your machines really well. And they are, so, are also very good for hand stitching. Okay. So this set has these colors. Okay. Has all these colors in it. These are all again, 50 weight. And so you're getting 12 colors and we put them on sale today, today only. And from $141.99 to $113.59. So if you have a quilter in your life, or if this is something that you'd want, this is a good deal. Okay. So a box of thread, we can always use thread, right? Okay. So that is mine piece, mine piece. That's the piece and quilt collection. Okay. All right. The next one is conservatory. And this is uh, Anna Maria's conservatory. And this is the chapter one pathways. So this one has 12 spools, but we have 12 weight and 50 weight. So four of them, if you can see this and and you'll know this if you if you use our fill. So these uh, right here that have the red spool, see this red spool right here? Okay, see the end of it? 
oops, let me get it out there. See the end of it is red. Okay, so the red spools, that is going to be your 12 weight. And 12 weight is a thicker thread. That is a thicker thread. So you can use that uh, for denim or I even embroidery, hand embroidery with it. So you can use it for lots of things. Then the other two sides, these eight, those eight are all 50 weight. So the orange spools on the end, that's all 50 weight. That's how I can tell on what, what weight they are, okay? So heavier threads here, lighter weight threads here. So these will go good in your machine or embroidery, anything like that, the, the 50 weights, okay? So that's the called the conservatory. We have all these colors. Okay, and that was $141.99 on sale for $113.59. And that's Mind Pathways. This is chapter one pathways. So they have different, they have different names to all these, but uh, kind of how it goes along with your threads. But I love top stitching. I use I love using different threads. Hey Kathy. How are you? Miss Kathy, I haven't seen her in a while. She's from Enid. So, okay, so that's conservatory and that's mine pathways, mine pathways. So that you're getting 12 spools of thread was $141.99 on sale tonight for $113.59. Okay. Huh? Yeah. Okay, Bill's looking up something, but okay, so that's uh, the chapter one. Okay, the next one we have is, these are all r fill, you guys, is Soltis, okay, and this, okay, you guys, if you bought all these spools separately, so you have 12 spools, it would be 167.88, 167.88, so you're getting 12 spools normally 141 but you're getting them for 113 okay so that's a pretty good pretty good savings all right so soltis we have all of these colors and these are 40 weight okay so 40 weight are the green spools that's the 40 weight get it up there so you can see all the colors in there so these are good to use in your machine also a little bit thicker than the 50 weight okay so the smaller the number the thicker the thread and um yeah this has got this has got some of the color chart on it uh for you too the soltis anyways you got 12 spools 40 weight so 40 weight is good for sewing also you can use it or 50 and again, no, no lint, but this is also good for embroidering. Okay. So you can, you can embroidery with this uh, thread to machine embroidery. Okay. So, uh, and you can quilt with 40 weight. Okay. Very good. So this is the Soltis. These all come in a case, nice carrying case. And this one's mine Soltis, 113.59. Okay. You're going to, oh. Okay, regarding trivia question, I have a quilt from my husband's father's great-grandmother made in Germany around 1860. She was 16 years old. That's awesome. Terry, did she have a label on the back? Is that how you knew this? Because you guys want to be sure and put a label. They'll know, you know, your grandkids will know that you've given them a quilt now, but when you're gone and 100 years from now, they're not going to know when that was made and who made it. So you want to put not just Nana or Nana Dawn, you want to put Nana, maybe in parentheses, and Dawn writes, and put who made it, who quilted it, and the name of the pattern, if you can, and then what year it was made. So if you started it in 2000, in 2000 and you didn't finish to, till 2021, just put 2000-2021. 2021. So it took 21 years to make that. Okay. Have, so, um, which is okay. I've got lots of those that I've started and I haven't finished, haven't quilted yet. We have some that are like 35 years. <laughs> we do have some that's like 35 years that I've made and I haven't quilted. I got a whole bunch in my quilt room, y'all. I bet I have over 500 quilts that I've made that, oh yeah, he says, yeah, well over that. Over 500 that I've made that I have not had time to quilt. So I'm quilting for all you guys. So I, I haven't had time to put my own. Oh, you guys be sure and share. 
Well, I think I did. Be sure and share. That's how you guys get in the drawing, okay? So how many ever shares you you have, that's Whitney will spin the wheel and... Well, um, going to do that. Oh, okay. There's another little, there's another little thing here I forgot to tell you. So what we've decided to do is spin the wheel on the next live. So if you're here tonight, then come next week on the live, Whitney will spin the wheel and you got to be watching. So if you're watching, then you can say, hey, it's me and I, I just won. And how many ever shares they had uh, is what you'll win. So when Whitney will post all that, okay? So I don't know, is she going to do it tonight from the last live? No, okay. So it will start tonight. Whoever's on tonight, watch next week and see if you won, okay? All right. So we may, I'll come back to that tell you more about it. Okay. So that's our threads, you guys. That's the threads that's in the collection. Oops. I forgot the classic Whitney. Let me find it. Um, our feel here they are. Okay. What? Oh yes. A paper pen to quilt. I need, need to label. I'll bring it in next time I come. Yes. If you guys know anything about these quilts or old quilts that your mom or your grandma made and you know about them and there's no label, be sure and make a label and pin it to it or put it 500. Yeah, I have a lot, Janice. If I had them all quilted, I wouldn't have a place to put them. Um, <laughs> you are a topper too. So <laughs> yes, that's right. That is so right. Um, but what was I saying now? I, I got about, myself lost. About the label. Oh, be sure and label it because then that way, you know, your next generation, we don't, we're not promised tomorrow, right? So we may not be here tomorrow. Let them know in the generations when that was made and kind of who made it or to your closest guess. Okay. To your closest guess. Okay. So this is the next, this is the last thread collection. This is the classic collection. And this is, so your classic colors. And this is um, all 50 weight. So again, sewing machine, sewing machine. Okay. So that we have all these colors. Okay. That's all 50 weight. That's an even better deal. Yeah. Oh, that is an even better deal. So these, the 50 weights are usually 166, we said, something like that. And so was 140 and marked down to 112.79. 112.79. So good deal. So if you need something for a quilter, this is a good good thing for a stocking, right? Okay. Oh, we have another question. Okay. Where do you get labels? Okay. I have lots and lots of labels. Um, we have them by the bolt and you can put, you can do your labels on, uh, on these. And I have pins that are permanent, not a permanent pin. But these are made for fabric, so they're not going to bleed. But I have pens, and you can write out your label and then sew those on, okay? Now, we also have um, paper. It's Colorfast Inkjet printer paper. And so you put the – on the paper is white fabric. So you can put a picture in the of the family or a picture of who you're giving it to and you or whatever and then type out what you want it to say on the computer and send it through the inkjet and print it so you can do whatever font you want or anything like that so we have those papers also and um you just print it through and then heat set it with iron and sew it on it's that easy so you do need a you do need to tag stuff though and i think i did say last week or the week before do not store old quilts in plastic. You guys, plastic will disintegrate your fabric. So a lot of people have put them in these big uh, Ziploc bags. Don't store them in plastic. If you're going to store an uh, old quilt, you need to store it in acid-free paper. And, and we have acid-free paper in the big sheets for, for quilting. And when we was at Colorado at the Quilt Show, they had... Um, the vintage quilts and they had them all shown one of the prettiest ones was from the mid 1800s and that had all been saved it looked better than even the ones from the early 1900s because it had all been saved and preserved in acid-free paper so i have no idea 
how they saved it in the beginning until acid-free paper came out, but it looked awesome. And they had each written their name on it and written the date of 1852, or I think that's what the pictures I have, it was 1852. So acid-free paper is the way to go. Okay, my little, my little trivia, little information there. Okay, what do we have next, Whitney? Let's see what we got. Okay, the quilt. Right there. There you go. Oh, here he is. Okay, so I'm trying to give you guys some chances to get Christmas stuff and uh, have time to get it made before Christmas. Okay, so this one's called Block Talk, and uh, it is Woodland Woodland Buddies, Woodland Buddies, and so she's got a pretty good picture, but if you can see. There's a snowman. Let me take it out of here and see if you can see it any better. It kind of shines on the... There we go. So it's got a polar bear. It's got a snowman and a dog. It's got the snowman and the birdhouse. There's dogs there. There's a little fawn. Um, polar bear, a bunny rabbit. Oh, even a skunk. So lots of little woodland buddies, okay? Comes with the pattern, comes with the the whole the whole set here. Okay, it's got the pattern and all the fabrics. Okay. And that is let's see, $70.99. $70.99. And it's a kit, it's all there. It is 50 by 61. 50 by 61. So this would be great for the back of your couch or a wall hanging. Um, or a lap quilt. It wouldn't fit lengthwise on a bed, 61. You would need it longer to fit on a bed, but it'd be a great a great lap quilt, okay? 50 by 61, and it's 70.99. Okay, so that's the Woodland Buddies. Mine Buddies, if you guys want those Mine Buddies, okay? Okay, then back home for the holidays, this one's really pretty. And if you can see in the picture there, See how there's a piece of the panel and then it's got the strip at the side? Okay, that's called window painting. So it looks like that you're looking out a window and each little window has these. So it's got the bottom and the top is shaded for looks like a window pane, right? Okay, and then it's got the window, the actual dark window pane. So these have, um, let me pull this out. This has the old red barns. So there's old red barns, there's trees, there's the old red truck. There is a covered bridge. There's two Adirondack chairs setting out by the lake that are red. There's a red bicycle by a bridge. Um, several pictures of the different red barns with the Christmas trees. Okay, I don't know if you can see it any better on mine or Whitney's, but but see how it's put together. I love the the window painting look. Okay, so this one is eighty four ninety nine, and it's fifty seven by sixty eight. Fifty seven by sixty eight. So a little bit bigger. Okay, fifty seven by sixty eight. Okay, and um. Again, 57 by 68. So this one is going to be a nice, generous uh, lap, okay? A big, generous. I like to make my lap quilts big because my kids always want them wrapped around their feet and wrapped around them. And so I make mine big. And so this one's a big one, okay? So that was home for, or back home for the holidays. Back home for the holidays. $84.99. All right. And Whitney, before you put the next one up, Somebody asked about the acid-free tissue. So, oh, Joyce did. Okay, Joyce, this is the acid-free tissue uh, for storing and preserving precious quilts, garments, and other textile items in archival storage containers, okay? When folding items to be stored, fill each, or fill each fold with crumpled rolls of tissue to prevent creasing line storage container and wrap the item completely with tissue. Don't overload the container, which may cause pressure on the contents when closed. Periodically remove items in the box and refold them in a different pattern, also to prevent creasing, 
Okay, so this is archival um, papers, and let's see, there's there's 24 sheets, and they're 20 by 30, 20 by 30, unbuffered acid-free tissue, and they're $5.99. So I've had people come in and special order this, so if you have anything that's precious that you want to pass on, please put it in acid-free because it will save, it really does save save it, you know. Huh? Oh, mine paper. If you want that, it's mine paper. It's $5.99. You get 24 sheets, 20 by 30. Okay. So just put mine paper and we'll, we'll put that out. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Terry, for asking that. Joyce. Or Joyce. Sorry, Joyce. I thought you used to, you guys are like two peas in a pod though. When one comes in, the other one's always with them. So, okay. Joyce, Terry, both of you. <laughs> Okay, what else do we have next, Whitney? Okay, I've showed you all these before, but without, you know, I do, they, they have been so popular and people come in, they want something to make by hand. Uh, we had someone, a friend of mine come in today. She said, I have six grandkids. These will be perfect. You could, there's six to a kit and you can, um, and they do open. So these are little mittens. And so, they do open up so you can put candy canes or candy or money or gift cards or whatever you want inside, but they are so cute. So this is the, this is the pattern. Okay. It comes with all your wool. So these are wool. Okay. And it comes with all the wool felt in there. And it even has the little uh, gold string that you hang it by. And it has the um, skeins of yarn to do all the embroidery, okay? So all you have to do is cut this out. This one's got some lint on it. Cut this out and glue it on with a glue stick. And then I just put um, a blanket stitch around it, y'all, truly. Blanket stitch, and then I did a bigger blanket stitch all the way around the outside. And so these mittens all have red toppers. So we have the Noel, isn't that cute? And it's got the, I don't know if you can see, but the, um, the wreath has little red, uh, what do you call them? French knots, little red French knots for the holly. Okay, here's the little deer. Is that the little deer and the snowflakes? Here's the little car, the little love bug with the tree. Get my fingernail out of the way. Little car with the tree. Here's the snowman. Okay. Here's the partridge in a pear tree. Isn't that cute? And then here is the Christmas tree. Okay. So then there's the Christmas tree. So that those six are one, one kit. They're $19.99. And again, everything that you need to make it comes in there. Now, you couldn't make extra. They just give you enough to make the backs and the front for these six. So you make 12 mittens. But you have plenty of extra so if we have wool felt here by the by the yard that we just got in so if you got an extra piece of wool felt you can make more mittens and just use these designs and there's extra there's extra wool felt in the package so you could probably come up even with your own design okay so these are 19.99 charcoal mittens and this is the this is the ornament kit so these are the mittens now we're going to have booties too so that's the mittens okay so that goes with those. Okay. Let's and that's mine charcoal. So we have some other mittens, but these are charcoal mittens and they have the red tops. And then right along the very top, they have little um holly berries and um leaves right up here, right up here along the top. Okay. So you can kind of see it in the picture. All right. Okay. So what's the next one we got? is okay so this is the booties this is the little uh warm feet okay so same thing comes in a package they're $19.99 you get all the all the stuff in there all the wool felt in there so these are this one and this one has red red toppers and uh kind of a um oh what color would you call that rust maybe topper okay so here's the train and it's got a rust top. This one's got a red top. So there's the little bird. Okay. 
so I stitched around these again, did the same thing, put the little uh, limbs under the little bird, and then I stitched around the um, inside as well as the outside of the boot, the toe and the heel. Here's the reindeer. Oops, there's the reindeer. Okay, here, this is one of my favorites. This is the little mittens. Isn't that cute? I just love that. Love those little mittens. Okay, here is Joy. And the middle one is a wreath. It's got a little holly berry on it. And I like this one too. Candy canes, the little candy canes. Isn't that cute? Okay, so these you get six also. And it's $19.99 and it's mine feet. Okay, so we have mittens and here's the mittens. Here's the feet. Okay, mittens or feet, but they're all about the same size and they all open up. They all open up so you can put uh, your items in there, your gift cards or your uh, money or candy canes or candy, whatever you want to put in there. Okay. Okay. So let's see. The next one is warm hands. So this one is another mitten one. Okay, so remember we had the charcoal. Now we're going to have these that are lighter color. Okay, so these are really cute too, though. I like the designs on these. So here we have a mistletoe. Okay, and this one's got a red, red top. Here's a green top. So these got red and green on the top. And there's the skate, little ice skate. Okay, we have a Christmas tree. I like the ruffly Christmas tree. Here's the little gingerbread. He's cute. I like the little gingerbreads. Here's a star snowman with a little scarf. Okay, and then here's the Santa. There's the Santa. So that's the six that go in this. Okay, and again, I think these all have plenty of fabric in there to do. I don't know that you could get a whole nother set, but you could get you could you could get some for sure if you just had the uh, wool felt to do the back. And we have that by the yards. We've got um, maybe 12 different bolts of different stuff in now. Okay. So that one is Warm Hands Ornament Kit and 1999 and it makes six. It'll be Mine Hands. Mine Hands. Okay. Huh? Why? Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Bill's trying to take over for Whitney for a second. So, okay. Are we ready? Okay. So this one again is mittens. Now where these are all appliqued, because see how they've got, this is called applique where you've got a design put on the, on the front and you've got other fabric on top of fabric. That's applique. These are embroidered. Okay, so you, you cut your mittens out and then you actually embroider on it with your, so it's got all your embroider threads in there. You actually embroider on the mittens on, on this set. So if you like to embroider, which I do, um, these are really cute too. Okay, so here, these are red and green and white. So here's the little snowman. Okay, here is the, this one's a white one. And this is the holly or the mistletoe. Grab a hold of it. The mistletoe. And it's got little beads in this. Okay. So it's got the little beads. Um, so you get little stars and little beads in the little kit that you've got in there. See the little white star? Okay. So you're getting that's for the tree. There's a red star and there's a bunch of little beads. And that's some of the little beads right there. Okay. That's the little berries on your mistletoe. Okay. Here, I love this one, the snowflake. Isn't that pretty? And again, the tops of these are all, all different. Okay, here's a pine cone. It's on white. The pine cone. And here's the Christmas tree with the little star on it. Oops, get it over there where you can see. There you go. And then we have the moon Santa. The moon sand. And there's the red star on the end of his hat, right? Okay. So you see that the top of these are all kind of done the same way. It's got the um, little uh, stitches up there. It looks like little berries, little mistletoe berries. So these have two red, two green, and two white in them. 
And these are all embroidered, not applique, but embroidered. Okay. So you would embroider the top and then you put all of it together and then uh, blanket stitch all around. And I think they've done, yeah, they've done theirs in a darker color. So I've done mine in a darker color too. But all that comes in your package, you guys. Everything's in there. So $19.99, and those are mine mittens. And I didn't get up here with all my um, samples. So the other, the next two are going to be, I'm just going to have to show them because I don't know where my samples are. Okay, so the next one is red work mittens. So a lot of us know what red work is. If you've seen a red work quilt, it's all done out of red embroidery floss, right? So this one has the white mitten part and it's got the red, that's your toppers. And then it's got all the red embroidery floss and your gold uh, string. Okay, so this is red work mittens, makes six ornaments and it's got the Christmas tree, the bird setting on a branch with a little pine cone. It's got the deer, it's got the nativity scene with Jesus. It's got another bird sitting on a little twig that's got little stars off his beak. And it's got a cup of coffee or a hot cocoa in my case, because I don't drink coffee. So that's the red work mittens. Okay. So $19.99. And again, this is embroidery. So just a uh, embroidery thread or embroidery needle and thread, and you've got it made, guys. So very, very cute. I love these. And they open up also. There's six of them. And that's mine red. Mine red. Okay. Continue on. We have some new people on. Oh, we got some new. That might not have been here when you talked about the wheel. Oh, okay. So we've got new people on. So Bill said to remind you guys. Okay. So if you're new, what we do is if you share. So share this on your Facebook site, okay? When you share, then that adds you in. And then you come back and tell us that you've shared. Then that adds you into the wheel. And so next week you come and watch. And whenever you see the wheel spin, if it lands on your name, and you, if you've shared, then it lands on your name, then you will get the gift certificate or the gift card. So how many ever shares we have is how many, how many dollars we give for the gift card. So if... Yeah, you comment that you've shared. So if we have 50 people on and each person has shared, then it's a $50 gift card, right? Okay, so then come back next week and when we spin and you get your name, we're just going to start that next week, okay? Then um, you'll you'll win right there. Oh, and you have to be present to win. You have to be online to win. Okay. Okay, so I got that all. And if you have any questions for anybody that's new, just holler and let us know. You guys can back up and look. We did a little trivia in the beginning, and then we've we've had some products, uh, the thread, the thread cases, and a lot of these um, ornament kits have already been showed. Okay, so you can back up and watch it in a little bit. Okay, the last one that I have for kits, and look at all the fabrics in that, you guys. Lots and lots of wolf out there. And so these are little gift bag ornaments, so little gift bags. So you can put stuff in these. So you can do gift cards, you can do um, candies, you can do money. So if you've, if you've got somebody you want to do something, you can just hang this on the tree and put your money in there or however you want to do it. Or a secret pal or grandkids or Sunday school people or who, whoever you want to, co-workers. Okay, so these gift bag ornaments, they are three by four. Hey, Rena, good to see you again today. My daughter and I made that label for the Brother Quilt and wrote the story of how it was made and when it was given. Oh, it was a big label and done in her handwriting. I love that. So you guys, that's true. You can print that out on fabric, but if you do it in your handwriting, that is really special. A lot of people love that. In fact, my mom, my mom came in this last week and we was trying to look at some of her history stuff. And my, my mom's dad died in, in uh, World War II when she was five years old. And so my grandmother had dreams of, of her son, Buddy. They, well, his name was Don. Of course, that's how I got my name, Don. But they called him Buddy. And so she had dreams of, of Buddy. And so she wrote it out, all her dreams, in her own handwriting. That's what made it so special. I could have typed it, but it's her handwriting that made it. So 
on your labels. I've got the pins that, that you can put on and they will not fade out. They will not wash out and write that out. And we've got all kinds of different labels. We've got black and whites. So we've probably got seven or eight bolts of different, different labels, but put that in your handwriting and you can write the story. You can write it on plain muslin if you want to and attach that all to the back. So it's, it's very meaningful. So I like that. Thank you. I like that, that it was in your own handwriting. Okay. So back to the gift bags, you can put um, gift cards or money or whatever in these. So the little bags are three by four three by four. So perfect for a little gift card. And as you can see in that top corner, see how it's got a button and you, and you just tie it. Okay. Yeah, I don't see the buttons in here. They may be in there, but um, then it's, this is all applique. Okay. Not embroidery, but applique. There's some embroidery on the mittens. The little snowflake is embroidered and then the little snowflakes that's on the joy Christmas tree and the Santa, the moon Santa, those are embroidered, but isn't that cute? I love, I love getting little stuff like this, guys, and then you can use it for ornaments on your tree from then on, okay? So again, Christmas bag ornament kit, $19.99, and it's mine gift, mine gift. Okay, so that's all the little handwork, and I just do those in my chair at night, you guys, uh, very fast and very easy to get done. They don't take any time, and you really don't need to even put any kind of adhesive on the back. Just draw it out, cut it out, and glue it on with glue stick. And then stitch around it. That easy. Okay. So we've got a lot of patterns. That is, uh, these are mostly Christmas. I think I've got maybe one or two fall in there. Okay. So this first one is fold and stitch holiday ornaments. Fold and stitch holiday ornaments. I know people look at this and think, oh, that looks too hard, but it's really not, you guys, just getting this. And we have all the stuff to do this. So um, this has got three shapes, three shapes in there, or three, no, I'm sorry, two shapes. There's three different ways to do it. And um, let's see, a fun portable project, trim a tree with ornament fashion from pre-cut shape blanks. OK, so everything's in here and you just need a Teflon uh, pressing sheet, a temporary fabric marker, which we have and wonder clips, which we have and some sealant. OK, so some uh, fray block, which we have. OK, so a, a nice way to make a special ornament for your friends or like I say, your co-workers, Sunday school team um, or anybody like that. Okay, so that is $9.99 and it's mine fold, mine fold. Okay, the next one is Frosty Fun. I love this because I love the, uh, it reminds me of taking my kids to Colorado, uh, my little kids, my grandkids. So the stockings and the mittens and the hats and then the long scarf, uh, just really cute. This one is $9.99 and it's mine fun. And it makes a 46 and a half by 57 and a half. 46 and a half by 57 and a half. That's a really cute pattern. And of course, you, if you're familiar with Atkinson designs, they're very good. Lot, they sell lots and lots of patterns. They're very good at pattern writing. Okay, so that is mine fun. Okay, this one is Merry Christmas, honey. Okay, Merry Christmas, honey. $9.99. And it's a honey bun project, okay? So if you're not familiar with a honey bun, a, a jelly roll is a two and a half inch, right? Two and a half inch cut, 42 pieces, a piece of everything in the line. Well, a honey bun is a one and a half inch cut of everything in the line. So again, 42 pieces, one and a half inch cut, okay? So this one is making a table runner, placemats, chair back holder, pillows, drink coasters, um, rectangular pillows, tea towels, and that's all in this pattern, all in this pattern, $9.99, y'all. But in that cute, you could do this, if you had scraps at home, you could do this out of scraps. Just cut them all up into one and a half inch strips, anything that's um, Christmassy. And if you don't, we've got, we've got honey buns, okay? So, uh, 
very cute. It's got to have a background and your Christmas fabric and you've got your Christmas trees. Okay, so that's $9.99. Mine, honey. All righty. Bill, did you find the um, deal for this? Okay, so this one is home time to decorate, but it's uh, the homegrown Christmas. And we have this panel, and I forgot to put it on the lineup tonight. So I said, I'll just throw it in. But we do have this panel. So at the top, we have um, Christmas balls. And then we've got a wreath and we've got different ones pieced. And there's a Christmas with a cow and a pig. And then the middle one that says homegrown Christmas holiday or homegrown holidays. And there's one with the old red truck. Everybody loves that red truck with the trees in the back. And that says Christmas trees. And then there's the old or there's a, a birdhouse, a barnwood birdhouse with a little red bird cardinal sitting in front. So really cute design. And uh, this one's called Time to Decorate, and it's by Coach House, and it's $10.99, y'all, $10.99. It's 52 by 66, okay, 52 by 66. All right. This one, you guys, this pattern company is all the way from Australia. So this is a little bit, it's not red and green. You could do yours in red and green, but it's from Australia. It's hatched and patched. If you've ever heard of hatched and patched, they're out of Australia. And uh, this is one of the prettier, prettier ones I've seen, but it's a Christmas tree skirt. So you're piecing your panels or your pieces into the Christmas tree skirt. And then on each one, you've got uh, some applique and some embroidery. And you've got your house and your give or your gift, and it says giving. And it's got the little kitty with the hat, and it says wishes. And the little bird says joy. Uh, one says home. So lots of cute, lots of cute um, little stitching, stitching things here too. Okay. And that again, that's out of Australia. These patterns are okay. And that's thirteen ninety nine. Thirteen ninety nine. Okay. Let's see. Let me see the front. No, that's not it. Wrong one. He thought he found the panel. It's a different one. We have lots of Christmas panels. Of course, I didn't get everything out tonight, but lots of Christmas panels, lots and lots of Christmas fabric, um, lots of jelly rolls, layer cakes, charms, everything. Okay. I think. Did we skip the spools? Do you have spools next? Okay. So this one, I think I showed this one to you before, but it's so cute. I had uh, my Sunday school teacher, she came in and made uh, a quilt with Christmas trees on and it turned out so cute, you guys. But this one has, this is a coriander quilt by Cora Yoder and uh, it's wooded whimsy, wooded whimsy. And again, you can um, come in and get a jelly roll that's two and a half inch or you can use your scraps, okay? So again, we have lots of jelly rolls that will work, but if you have scraps, this is a good thing and they do, they can be all different sizes. You've got the little one for the top, a little longer and a little longer all the way down to the bottom. So a good scrap buster, but really cute, cute pattern. Okay, so that's mine wooded. Okay, I of course, if you're a quilter like I am, I love this one because it's all quilt spools, right? It's a, it's a Christmas tree out of spools. So it's called Holiday Spools by Karen Bennett. And um, it's really a pretty simple, you just have the top of your spool, top and bottom of your spool inside as a fabric, okay? And uh, a pretty simple deal. It is 35 and a half by 50 and a half, 35 and a half by 50 and a half, okay? Isn't that cute? So that's Nellie's Needle. And so mine holiday, mine holiday. Okay, the next one, vintage ice skate. I love ice skates. I, I love to watch anything that's in New York that's on the ice skating rink. I just think it's so pretty. And um, this has got the ice skate. It's got the candy canes in it and the Christmas ball that says Merry Christmas, different old vintage type balls. And it's got a little background snowflake that says winter but i love the fabrics in this this is you can do it in whatever color you want and um any if you ever need help with this janice russell is a really good um really good at her embroidery which we have several that are good at diane enders 
myself, we all love the embroidery. So we can teach you if you don't know how to embroider. It's very, very simple. But this one also has the fabrics, the, um, the pattern of how to piece around it, okay? So how to piece around and make it a, a quilt. And this one is, let's see, the stitchery itself is 10 by 15 and a half, but the wall hanging is 24 by 30. 24 by 30. So you could do a pillow out of that. You could do, it'd be a nice wall hanging. Okay. All right. That was 10.99. Okay. I know I got to move along. Okay. So this one's buttermilk basin and this one is so cute. Another tree skirt y'all. Vintage campers all around. Vintage campers all around. And it's 17 inches around. So it's a smaller, you know, it's for a smaller tree. And, uh, I love this because it's, it's again, applique, and you can do a little bit of embroidery around the very bottom, the, the uh, stitch, and I love the old vintage campers and the, and the tree, and we have the wool felt. We have the wool felt here, so if you need wool felt for this, we can fix you up if you need it, okay? So that's mine around. Mine around, it's $8.99. Okay. The next one is, oh, is this the panel for the other bill? Okay. All right. I'll come, I'll come back to it. Um, family tradition. Oh, wait a minute. Great outdoors. Okay. The great outdoors. And this has a panel also, and we have this panel. Um, so if you want the panel with this, just put mine outdoors plus panel. Okay. And I believe, let's see, is this a 24, 36 inch panel? Um, let's see. I'm not sure what size it doesn't say what size the panel is so this one is the great outdoors and they've taken a piece of that panel so it's got the red Adirondack chairs in front of by the lake in front of the mountain and it's got um not all not all who wonder are lost that's got the trees by it explore has the uh, kayaks by it and Nature is my happy place. That's got the trees and the mountains, snowy mountains by it. And get lost in nature. So there's several different, and then there's an old uh, station wagon in front of the mountains. It's got a kayak on top. So very, very cute. And we have the fabrics that go with this. And we also have the panel that goes with this, okay? So mine outdoors, mine outdoors, 1099. And it's 56 by 74, 56 by 74. Okay, the next one is family tradition. Again, I love the trees that go all around this. I think that's really pretty. And this one's got the truck with the tree in the back, typical red truck, and then it's got the mountains and it's got stars, but I love it. I love the trees that go all around that. Isn't that pretty? So you could do this as a pillow. You could do it as a wall hanging. Oh, this is a lap and twin size quilt. So this would fit on a bed. 72 by 84, 72 by 84. So that's a lap or a twin size, okay? Very, very cute. So if you need something fast to put together, this would be fast, okay? All right, I forgot to tell them what, but they probably seen what that one was. Okay, ribbon candy. This is jelly, this is for jelly roll, y'all. And we have lots of jelly rolls, but again, if you have scraps, two and a half inch, and this will show you how to make it with, with the white in between. And it's called Ribbon Candy. If you can, re I can remember my grandma having on the, on the uh, coffee table, you know, the old gold turtle, old gold glass turtles that had the little shell part that came off. And um, she always had Ribbon Candy at Christmas, always. And so that kind of reminds me of being at my grandma's house, Ribbon Candy. And it's 68 by 74. It's $9.99. It's mine ribbon. Okay. Then we have Frosty and his broom. So Frosty and his broom, that's all out of wool felt again. Like I said, we have lots of wool felt. And this one, they've just got clipped up. You can hang it on your tree. You can clip it. You can make it a pin. You can do so many things with this. But this would be another one that'd be really good to make for say your Sunday school class or co-workers or grandkids and put their names on each one, maybe with the year on it. So it's four by nine inches, 
four by nine and it's got the wool requirements and then any other supplies. So $5.99, $5.99 and it's for the little snowman with the broom. It's got little mittens and he's got little trees uh, embroidered on him, little snowflakes on his mittens. It's really cute. Okay. This one is Mine Camper, and it's the Vintage Camper Ornament. Vintage Camper Ornament. So, again, so many of us have campers and like to go and, and travel. But this is a, a cute little uh, camper. You know, you see these all over the place, the little tiny ones. And uh, they're sure easy to get in and out of, I think. But uh, this one's got snow on the door. And... Uh, it's a four by five. It's four by five. Okay. Mine camper. And this one's six ninety nine. Okay. That's strange. One's five ninety nine, one's six ninety nine. Anyways, whatever they charge us. Okay, so six ninety nine for the little camper. Mine camper. All right. The next one is the little uh truck. And it's got, let's see, this one's vintage truck ornament. Okay. It looks like it's got a lucky charm in the back, but you could put a tree, you could make this uh, a red truck. You could do it out of this. You could do it out of somebody's old wool coat if you wanted to. You could go to the thrift store, get an old wool coat, make these out of that would be really cute. And again, we have wool if you need, need wool, but I would make that and put a tree in the back. Isn't that cute? Okay, so that's vintage truck or mine truck, mine truck. Okay, now this one, this is Snowy Applique Snowmen. Okay, this is for embroidery machines only. So this one's got the Cactus Shack embroidery. It's actually a CD ROM, okay? So there's a CD inside here, and it's got the different, uh, it's got the little snow lady kissing the snowman. Look at his little face like, oh, <laughs> and the snowman up front. And then it's got all these designs. Let me take that out so you can, it doesn't shine against the bag. Um, so if you've got if you've got a, a machine that does embroidery, that's what this one's for. Okay. Let's see if I can get it out of there. Okay. Okay. So that is oops. There's all the designs. Isn't that cute? That's all the designs. Of course you can change the colors or anything like that. But that's all the designs in the that and these. Okay. So that's for machine embroidery. And there is, let's see, 10 applique designs with embroidery for the five by seven hoop and one bonus design for a six by 10 hoop or larger. Uh, these will make a beautiful quilt as well as decorating tea towels, wall hangings, pot holders, or even clothing and use the de bonus design on the back of a shirt or jacket, okay? Oops, there's the CD. Okay, so again, that is for the machine and border, and they're $28.99, $28.99. Pardon? Mine Snowy. Oh, Mine Snowy, S-N-O-E-E, -E. okay? I didn't get that back in there good. Okay, this one, if you're like my husband, he loves to hunt, and we love Colorado and the nature. This one's called Hidden Lake. This is a Tony Whitley design. If you're familiar with Tony Whitley, there's lots and lots of pieces, but they always turn out as masterpiece. I mean, it's just, it's worth taking the time to make them because they're just gorgeous. So this one's 13 and a half by 15 and a half. And it's the um, elk, or is that a moose? That's a moose. Okay. So this is the moose. See how much I know my animals. Um, 13 and a half by 15 and a half. Okay. And it's got lots of batiks in there. We've got, oh my, I don't, I don't even begin to tell you how many batiks. We've got a whole bunch of them. So we've got a lot of batiks to, to pick out from this. Okay. So Tony Whitley, this is Hidden Lake, mine hidden. And it's $9.99, which that's pretty good for Tony Whitley. Her patterns are usually a lot higher. Okay. Okay, we're at the snowman A to Z. Okay, snowman A to Z. This is an embroidery. So if you do this, and like this is just embroidered, but if you was Janice, 
you would color this and embroider it because as you've seen she likes to color hers and embroider which makes them that much even better so it's hard to see on the screen can you blow that up bill or not i can i can try to hold it up closer okay let me hold this up closer y'all and see if you can see it. it says a angels we have heard on high b is for bell c is for candy canes uh e is for elf d is for drummer boy f is for okay oh fig um g is for gifts holly berries icicles jingle bells Kris Kringle, mittens, ornaments, Noel, plum pudding, quilts, of course, reindeer, snowflakes, up on the housetop, twinkle, village, wreath, uh, kisses and hugs, and zzz, I'm asleep. Okay, so see if you can, I don't know if I can get that. Does that look pretty good? Okay, so that's that's the designs, you guys lots of cute embroidery and it's got the embroidery floss listed on back when we have embroidery floss here um but this one would be really cute to color and embroidery so that's snowman a to z snowman a to z and then it gives you the quilt design that's around it okay and let's see that one was mine snowman mine snowman okay this one, I have this made at home, and I forgot to bring it. This one's Winter Wonderland, and at the top, it says Walking in a Winter Wonderland. It's got music notes, and then it's got snowmen, and it's got them on the sled. It's got a snowman making a snow angel. There's snowmen skiing. There's snowball, or there's snowmen having a snowball fight, and then there's uh, snowmen under the Christmas tree, and then there's snowmen hanging stockings up on the clothesline. And mittens so really cute and then you piece the outside very cute i don't know if you can see that very good very cute embroidery but there's the outside of it too that that you piece but i really enjoyed making this you make one piece at a time and then sew them together and then you stitch you chain stitch over where you sewed them together so really fast and easy but really really cute so this is winter wonderland it's 28.99 it's a big pattern and it's Mine Wonderland. Mine Wonderland. Okay. Are we ready? Okay. So, Oh Happy Day. I showed you guys. This is the block of the month that we are, uh, we've got open enrollment this month, uh, November 1st through the end of November. And this is Oh Happy Day. And we'll be sending this out. So, it's $35.99 a month for eight months. Okay, the first month you're getting three blocks. You're getting your panel to cut up and then one of those to make a block in, or one of those to make into a block and then two blocks. So if you see like the second thing across the big pattern that's got the green flying geese and stuff in the middle and then there's a red one in the next and a yellow and a blue and a blue and a red. So some of those are great big and some of them are small, but on the small ones you get multiples so some of them are one but some of them are two and three okay so 35.99 that buys you three the first month two for the months after that so what is that 16 18 dollars a month or per block and so they're really big you guys and um that is that you will sign up whitney will post a link in yeah. She already has. Okay. She's posted a link. Here it is. Quiltkitsandmore.com. The product, Oh Happy Day, Block of the Month. B-O-M is Block of the Month. Okay. So when you sign up for that, you'll get one block mailed to you or you'll pick it up every month. Okay. And that's what it'll be. And at the end, you'll have the whole thing and the borders, everything. Okay. And uh, it's really pretty. If you come in the shop, we have it hanging up in the window and it looks really nice. It looks really good. So... All right, so that's mine happy. And if you need help signing up for that, you can you can click on the link and go to it. If you need help signing up, please call. Uh, our number is 405-594-7845. Call us and we will be glad to help you get through that. Okay. All right. So that's the block of the month that's going on this month. All right. What else do we have? Oh couple more things, you guys, and we'll be done. 
Oh no, not that. No, oh, we've got we're these. Done. We're done. Oh, we're done. Yeah, we've been on for a long Oh, okay. I guess we're not showing those. He says we're done. We've been on too long. Okay. So sorry to take up all y'all's time tonight, but um uh, be sure and share. That's how you get into the drawing and come watch next week and see what, yeah, see what you can win. Again, if there's something you want to see or some demo or some something, put it in there. I want more notions. I want more fabric. Do you have this fabric or whatever or patterns? And we'll be glad to be glad to help you guys out. Um, what else? We do AccuQuilt. We sharpen scissors, we quilt, we clean and fix machines. We do about everything, you guys. So we work all the time. So come see us. We'd love for you to come in and pet the fabric like we do. Or you can order online and when you get it, pet your fabric when you get it. So, um, okay. Well, you guys have a great, a great week and a great weekend as we're coming into the holidays. Um, just remember all your friends and family. All right, you guys have a good week. We'll see you. Bye-bye.